Hello, everyone. Uh, last video, we introduced uh, more detail about this uh, practical uh, guide, uh, the document structure. Uh, today, uh, let's uh, actually uh, go into uh, initialization of our Prodigy environment. Uh, so if uh, we are starting to uh, go through based on uh, our current the guide here, so I put here. So if you come to uh, see my bottom uh, link, is uh, you can come to this uh, page. Uh, in the bottom, uh, as I mentioned, is uh, we will uh, store over uh, the past videos. Now we are going to the number uh, two, uh, and uh, please use this uh, uh, file uh, to guide you with uh, uh, when we together uh, reading uh, the our, our uh, the this uh, practical guide. Uh, so uh, first chapter, uh, uh, if you uh, read those uh, uh, quickly, uh, it's just uh, our introduction. So uh, to uh, let you know that each chapter's uh, uh, the contents, uh, and also we have some conversion, uh, the old naming standard, or sort of format standard. So uh, please uh, read on that, uh, and then the. Uh, uh, it's uh, accomplished this uh, first one, so we uh, we will uh, the, uh, not use uh, this. So, so do this, then do this. So it's uh, just a list of the uh, the task. Uh, so uh, that is our illustration of those. And please uh, note uh, some kind of the icon. Uh, so uh, and then uh, we come to the chapter two requirements and uh, product UI. So. Uh, that is the thing is uh, we should uh, have our protege uh, so that we uh, we can start to uh, move to uh, more understand yeah in short is uh, protege is our uh, ontology uh, editor uh, and is uh, quite uh, uh, the interesting and uh, also nice to have uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, use the, this video to uh, install the Prodigy if you don't have that. I'm using the Windows 11, uh, so but uh, Prodigy is uh, uh, based on the Java, so uh, it, you can uh, use that in the different uh, the operating systems. Uh, and this guide is also uh, the uh, quite compatible uh, with the Windows platform. Uh, so for here, if you want to download the state uh, or the formal version. Uh, you can come to uh, the this link uh, so through is my repository. So if you open that, uh, you come to uh, this uh, prodigy dot stanford dot edu. Uh, so here is a software PHP uh, file. So here is uh, uh, you read the prodigy which we mentioned uh, this introduction uh, in the first video. Uh, you can use the web prodigy uh, as I introduced uh, here. So web prodigy, if you uh, just click that link, uh, it will give you uh, just the web interface. Uh, so you uh, you can uh, make our uh, the, the account create, uh, then you can log in. Uh, but we will use a desktop version. So I. Uh, uh, you can choose that uh, uh, web prodigy install locally, but we will come to here. Uh, so uh, they, this one, so uh, let's see. So that is the web prodigy admin guide. So that is not uh, what we want. Uh, let's do this. So uh, you can uh, click this, then uh, you will get this uh, 561 uh, version. Uh, so first you, you need to register uh, the, that. So le uh, let me... Uh, make our uh, registration, and you give our uh, the projects uh, the explanation. So I put uh, like this. So my project is uh, here, uh, and I uh, learn to use strategy, and then you can register. Uh, or uh, you can just uh, directly uh, the no thanks if you already registered. So. Uh, then if you uh, make this uh, registration, it will allow you to download this one. Uh, so that is by default, is detect your uh, version uh, of the, OI, uh, the type of the operating system. So it's pop up the windows. Uh, and also you, you can uh, download uh, the platform independent uh, the version, but you need to set up the JRE yourself. So here is uh, similar. So let, let's do the, this one. 
So maybe I, I can use uh, already registered. Uh, let him to know. So uh, you can have this uh, different version. So let's uh, uh, use that uh, later. So that is the one way uh, you get the prototype file. Uh, and I also mentioned this, uh, you can uh, come to the Prodigy GitHub. Uh, so if you want to use uh, some latest version, so if you come to here, you can find this uh, Prodigy as one of the project. Uh, and here is a release. So uh, the recent uh, weeks, uh, the, there's a 5.6.2 uh, released. Uh, so they, this one is uh, the upgrading for this uh, 5.6.1. So, uh, if you want to uh, the adopt uh, uh, this uh, latest version, uh, you can download this. Uh, remember, uh, this uh, the practical guide is based on the 5.5. So our version is already newer. Uh, so, but uh, let's use the latest version. Uh, try to simulate the content. Let's see the anything is uh, already uh, maybe is uh, uh, the decommissioned or something. Uh, so. Uh, let's do this. Uh, if you click on the download, uh, you will get here. So you see, you can download the Linux version, Mac version, platform independent version like this uh, 561. And also you can download uh, the Windows version. So let me uh, save on this. So, uh, I, I put this uh, saved and uh, put that into my download uh, file. Uh, uh, replace that. For the in, uh, once we have uh, downloaded this, uh, you can come to uh, your uh, download folder to see here. Let me uh, refresh that. So you see here. Uh, let's use this uh, five six two uh, to do the uh, the demo uh, and uh, to to see the later on. So. A, when we see the installation, is uh, not actually you need to run some executive of uh, exec, uh, executive uh, file uh, to uh, run the step of this uh, installation. Actually, these are just uh, uh, the extract. Uh, uh, let's go to our temp, uh, uh, make our new folder. So part G install. So. I'm demo to the to this. So you copy this and you can extract all. So you can extract that to, to here. If you download this uh, uh, package, uh, it's already have the uh, Java runtime uh, the environment uh, in uh, the inside. So you don't need to set up your own uh, the Java part. Uh, then. If you come to here, you can see here, JRE uh, is uh, in, uh, included. Uh, and you go to our prodigy.exe. Uh, so uh, very simple. So you, know, you, you can just click that, and uh, then the prodigy uh, uh, should be the open. That, that's it. So uh, uh, within this, uh, you, you will see the UI. So uh, let's go to here. Make that shorter. So in the chapter two, you see here, project UI is divided into some major tabs. So these are the tabs. So by default, it's uh, coming to your active uh, ontology. We will starting uh, to understand this uh, once we uh, um, uh, begin uh, those modeling. Uh, and then the entity uh, will be the primary type we will use. Uh, the root is the all uh, thing. So uh, every new class will be under the thing. So you can uh, add a subclass or you can add the sibling uh, class. Uh, so those are the uh, later uh, the practice we will start to use. Uh, and when you click uh, the entity, you see here some sub tab. Uh, so uh, those are also mentioned by uh, Michael. Is uh, you, you can have uh, different uh, the tabs. Uh, we will use those uh, gradually, uh, but all of them is uh, you can treat that is under entity. But these uh, class classes is also uh, appeared in the top uh, the, the class. 
uh, the tab and under class you have the hierarchy uh, you have the hierarchy inferred uh, we will go to understand what the infer means uh, and then it's uh, you have the uh, property uh, for object uh, so those are the property object uh, but if you see here uh, by default is the data property is not here uh, is uh, part of the entity object property data property uh, we will also distinguish this uh, later on then you have uh, our, another tab is called the individual by uh, class uh, and you have uh, some uh, query tool and also our uh, you can uh, we will uh, try the query uh, during our practice as well uh, and you can choose the different uh, scoping of the practice and is our by default is uh, ontology graph uh, the plugin enabled this one so when we uh, start to have our uh, classes, subclasses, individuals, then you will see this uh, uh, as a very uh, interactive and uh, vi uh, visualization for your ontology. Uh, as uh, Michael mentioned here, is uh, uh, you can uh, go to the Windows tab. Uh, then this option show all the UI types, uh, so Windows and the tab. So here is what we uh, have uh, enabled by default. I didn't change anything yet, but you see here is uh, the data property. Uh, you can click this and enable that uh, into uh, this uh, top tab. Uh, to, and uh, that is uh, depending on you. And you can also enable those uh, sub tabs uh, under the entities uh, into the top tab. Uh, but if you want to save uh, some space, uh, you, you can uh, customize uh, this. Uh, and then also, uh, the, there are many views that are not in the default version of Prodigy that can be added with the Windows view. So here you see so many views. Uh, we only have a few uh, of them. Uh, but uh, if you want to uh, have uh, those, those views, uh, uh, you can start to get familiar with uh, ontology uh, and the prodigy uh, the later on. Uh, so, for example, I want to uh, enable all these. So you can see here, if you uh, move your cursor, uh, that will uh, indicate you is uh, which view you want to uh, make that. Uh, so uh, that that is the uh, the thing is uh, if I want to put this uh, the width here. You, if you click, it's uh, coming here, uh, but it's not, not the case for now. So uh, let's uh, uh, make those uh, the height and we just uh, keep uh, the default. Uh, and on this uh, uh, chapter 5.2, there will be our example adding some new view to major type. So uh, the, at that time, is uh, we can explain this uh, more. So, but in short, these are the very simple uh, installation. I mean, it's uh, just extracting the zip file uh, and you have your ontology on hand. So please uh, uh, do this and uh, prepare this uh, environment. Uh, and uh, if you want to go to some more detail, uh, the setting, you can come to here. Uh, and we also uh, uh, may mention some of these uh, plugins uh, during our uh, the practice. Uh, so those are the different plugin and ontology is a very strong uh, the, uh, the two platform because uh, they have our central tool and they are uh, supported by a lot of the plugin uh, and using the plugin actually you have uh, the more features uh, can be enabled. Uh, and then is you have uh, some others uh, the uh, those are factors uh, or the uh, preference you can enable. So you can also set your name uh, then uh, the, uh, for the different ways so you can uh, customize uh, your environment. Uh, but let's uh, stop here. So if you uh, can see this screen is congratulations. Uh, you already have the property uh, on hand. Uh, and uh, please uh, read this uh, chapter three uh, uh, to learn is so what are the uh, the ba uh, basic information about uh, uh, the all uh, and the ontology and uh, what's the distinguish with uh, between the entity class uh, individual uh, and the next time is uh, next video uh, we will starting to uh, the first exercise uh, to build uh, our uh, 
all ontology uh, for this uh, pizza uh, dot all file. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, looking forward to see you in the next video.